Hello guys, welcome to my second lecture on design of single reinforced beam. In the previous section, I have taken care of the theory related to this topic that is single reinforced beam. From this lecture, I'll be taking few problems. So there are there are two types of basically two types of problems with single any design problem. Uh, the first type is your analysis problem, and the second type is your design problem. In the, NAS, in the analysis problem, you need to calculate the moment or you need to calculate the load for which the, the design has been carried out. But for the uh, design part, we will be given some design moment, we will be given some design force. For those uh, design moments and force, we need to calculate the, we need to design the uh, beam section or any, any structural components. So in this uh, problems, we have uh, to determine the ultimate moment of resistance of a rectangular beam of width. 350 mm, 350 mm your width, this is your width of beam, 350 mm, and then your depth of the beam is 550 mm, which is your effective depth. This is not your overall depth, this is your effective depth. Your overall depth is including your clear cover. So if you if you see the difference between an overall depth and your effective depth, then this is your overall depth, that is capital T. And this is your small d effective depth. So the difference between overall depth and your effective depth is this much, which is called as clear cover, clear cover or effective cover. So in this problem, we have been given, we have been already given that you this the the given depth is your effective depth, effective depth which is casted with M30 grade concrete reinforced with four numbers of 25 mm dia bar of FE 250 grade steel. So for any problem, we, we need to follow some some steps. So so first step according to me is we need to first we need to first uh, think what we have to calculate. That is to to calculate or to find what we need to find. So in this problem, we need to find the ultimate moment of resistance moment of resistance at the end of problem I'll, 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 dif I'll differentiate between ultimate moment of resistance and your moment of resistance what is actual moment of resistance to find moment of resistance then next next step is to list down your input details input details or input data so in the input data we have width of the beam which is equals to 350 mm. We have effective depth of the beam as 550 mm. Then we have area of steel. Area of steel, which is four numbers of 25 mm bar. We have a grade of steel that is grade of steel that is Fy is equals to 250 newton mm square grade of concrete that is fck fck is equals to 30 newton per mm square so so next step next step we need to calculate first we need to find the limiting neutral axis neutral axis so for FE 250 XU limiting, we have a different formula, which is equals to 0.53 D. This coefficient changes with change in change in steel grade, steel grade. So here we have FE FE 250. So for 250, it is 50.53 d so which is equals to 0.53 your effective depth is 550 so 0 0.53 into 550 is equals to 291.5 mm so this is xu limiting so we have a condition where we need to satisfy that our xu limiting should be greater than actual neutral axis depth of neutral axis so we have already calculated XU limiting next step should be to calculate to calculate actual neutral axis actual 
so in the next step we have to calculate actual neutral axis that is actual depth of neutral axis that is x u so to calculate x u we have to satisfy the condition that is c is equals to we don't have to satisfy this condition we need to equate the compression force to equal to your tensile force so for compression we have formula 0.36 f c k d x u and for tension we have 0.87 f y a s t so equating everything on uh, your right hand side we will get x u is equals to 0.87 f y a s t divided by these things 0.36 f c k b we need to calculate the x u so x u is equals to 0.87 Fy is 250, AST is 4 numbers of 25 mm diabar that is pi by 4, 25 square upon 0.36, Fck is 30. Now we have used M30 grade concrete and here B is 350. So Xu is equals to, Xu is equals to 112.36 mm which is less than XU limiting. Hence, condition is satisfied. Condition is satisfied or okay. So now we have XU, we have AST, we have the dimension of the beam. So now we need to calculate ultimate moment of resistance. Next step is to calculate ultimate moment of moment of resistance hmm. so we have the formula m is equals to t into liver arm either t or you can write c so liver liver arm is nothing but d minus 0.42 xu this xu is your actual neutral axis depth not your limiting and t is 0.87 fy ast AST is your area and this is your stress. So stress into area is nothing but your but nothing but your tensile force. And then our XU. So 0.87 FY is 250. Mm, AST is uh, AST is 4 into 20 pi by 4 25 square pi d square by 4 into 4 numbers into d is effective depth is 550 minus point 42 xu is xu is how much is xu 112.36 which is equals to 214.92 into 10 raised to 6 newton mm we can convert this uh, newton mm to kilonewton meter by dividing it with 10 raised to 6 to so 214.92 into 10 raised to 6 divided by 10 raised to 6 kilonewton meter so this is your ultimate moment of resistance so why we call it ultimate moment of resistance because for designing we need to have some factor of safety so in the ultimate moment of resistance we have a factor of safety of 1.5 so if we want to calculate the uh, the service moment of resistance or unfactored moment of resistance or working moment of resistance then we have to divide this this ultimate ultimate value by 1.5 ultimate value by 1.5 so we will get that unfactored unfactored or working moment of resistance hope you understood this problem in this problem i have directly taken the value of i'll show you one thing i have not calculated ast i have not calculated the ast uh, uh, directly i have taken the formula and the number of bars so in this problem you can also calculate ast prior and you can use that value directly here you need not to calculate here what I did, 
I have directly taken. So what I did to just reduce the time, time, time for this lecture, I have just directly taken four numbers of 25 mm diabars in this formula. Otherwise, you can do, you can do, you can already, you can calculate this in the input details data, and you can directly take that value and you can multiply it here. So hope, hope everything is clear. This problem. If you have any doubt, any query, you can you can you can comment with your valuable queries and we will we will come, come up with solution so so hope you like this video and enjoyed this lecture and so we'll be coming up with uh, more videos in the next lecture i'll be taking few more problems till then have a nice day take care and goodbye